come along. Come on. Oh, good job. <laughs> Go ahead. We'll get our hand down in the big house, okay? We just, I just ran the bus with Emily. <laughs> yeah. yeah? Are you carrying your own backpack today? Look at that. She's got her own nappies. <laughs> and we're going to the shopping center slash cafe because I gotta get some things. And it's Alvin's grandparents' um, anniversary for their wedding. I don't know how long. Long time. Whew. These coffees. Emmeline, where's the coffee? Yeah, there they are. Three coffees, right? Very good. Are you coloring a picture? Yeah? Just, you're putting as many as your hands as you can? Oh, good job. Sit. Oh, great. Oh, my. Why are you sitting there? Did I? Oh no, I thought you were going to sit on my lap. Sit on mommy's lap. Are you ready to put your shoes on? Head. <laughs> are you going on the swings? Where are you going? Okay, go ahead. I'll follow you. You want me to come with you? Okay, let's go. Oh, are we running? Oh my goodness. It's so fast. It's so fast. Oh gosh. Okay, we're back home, obviously. I didn't film anything when we were gone because we had to quickly shop and Emily fell asleep. And then I totally had, to, I just had to stash my camp, my phone somewhere and I didn't take any pictures or do anything really, but we are home. What's wrong? What happened? That's okay. Are you gonna sit there and just say, oh no? Oh, I think I have to save somebody. So I think, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm on the trampoline. Mommy, come in. Oh no, look. Okay, what's, what's the problem? What's the problem? What's wrong? This is wrong? Well, I can't do anything about that because you can't have shoes. On the trampoline. How's that? Is that better? Okay, now she can get up and jump around. <laughs> Are you jumping? Are you hopping? Are you gonna hop around? Hey guys! Oh no! Oh no! What do we do? Okay, we gotta fix this. Rectified the situation. Rolled. We rolled the pants. <laughs> This is what you do, you know, with your kids. What are you doing? Are you going to go jump around? Obviously, I can't jump while she's on it. I'm way too heavy. She could get hurt. So I just have to sit here nicely while Emmeline, uh, while Emmeline does her thing. Alvin's making his way slowly across Germany to Kiel, and he's taking the ferry from Kiel to Gothenburg, and then tomorrow he'll be driving here. <laughs> I can't see your face. Look at Mommy. Where's your face? It's under their hat. Come here, let me fix that. <laughs> Can I fix your hat? Oh, 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 jumping real. She's really jumping now. Oh, you're really jumping. <laughs> oh, no. Here, let's keep it on and we'll just do this. Asleep? Yeah? You have an apple and you're laying down. That's not a good thing. Should sit you up, shouldn't we? Yeah. Are you gonna sleep? Yeah. Say. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are you all done? Mama, have the apple. Are you gonna sit over? With that. With. <laughs> You're a silly baby. Can I have these? Where'd it go? Papa. Apple. 
Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Good girl. Good night, Emmeline. You want to sit up? Okay. <laughs> Hello. I wanted to vlog. Well, it's not what I... I have to vlog. <laughs> okay. I feel so weird being here without Alvin. Not that I, Like, I'm really close to my in-laws. I am super close to them. That's not the thing. But I have to remember that they are from another country. I have been living not here. I have been living in England, which is very similar to American culture. It's just English-speaking culture. We're friendly. We're chit-chatty. I don't know, you, you understand people, even though English are not my culture, I've lived there for two years, and before that I lived there for a couple, like a, at least a year or so. You know, I know how it is, and it's English speaking, and a lot of things are very similar to where I grew up, and just the culture that I grew up with. And now I'm here, and I'm in this culture, and it's not like that. Okay, you cannot, for example, in English speaking culture, you can just chit chat, you can stop and talk to anyone, you can make friends with someone, anywhere. Okay? You can't do that here. You don't look at someone and be like, oh my god, look at the price of this, it's so ridiculous, can you believe that? You can't. You can't be like, oh, can you, can you believe the hold up here? I can't believe it's taking so long. You can't just talk to people like that. You can't do that. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. And I just, it's just sinking in now that, oh my god, I'm going to be living and, grow, like, living in this culture, like, Norwegian culture. It's not even my own place. I'm not going to change myself, and I don't really have to here friendly people are fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being super friendly. Um, but you just have to, you have to be more tolerant of their culture. Obviously you're living in it. So you have to understand that living in Norway, being an English speaker, a native English speaker, they don't say, they don't say, excuse me, really. Um, they don't, they don't tell you, th oh, there's a lot that's implied, I should say, in this country. Like if it's implied, they don't say it, you know, in English speaking culture, we're very, open like we're very lovey that's something like we have pet names for each other for our children we're always telling each other how much we love each other and we're giving hugs and kisses and and that kind of thing they don't really do that to so much extent here their kids they have their name for their child and that's what they call them and they don't smother them with love like I grew up being like hugged and kissed like crazy and I do that to Emmeline and Alvin does it to Emmeline because he's Alvin but, you know, like, no one else, you don't, I mean, if they do that, I don't see it. And I don't, like, not to the extent that an English speaker would do it. So anyway, that's kind of weird. It's just something that I thought. It's really hard for me. This move is very, very difficult for me. As I said before, I'm still crying about it, like, off and on. Um, I am, but I know that it, it's always like that. If it wasn't difficult for us to make this move, then we must have been doing something incredibly wrong. And, you know... That's just how it is. I talked to Alvin's grandmother today and she's like, it's going to be very hard. It's always going to be, especially when you have children, to move. It'll be fine. Like, you'll be happy in the end. And you know, I think it's going to feel better once I start talking to my friends a lot more. Like, um, Amy, if you're watching this, we've got to, we've got to chat. And the, the nanny, I would love to Skype with her. And, um, Jess, if you, you're watching this, and Joe, and obviously Camille. Like, I want to stay in contact and even Hannah I mean I want to stay in contact with you guys for being totally serious that is a massive part of our life there we're not staying away we're gonna be there we're gonna visit I, I want to be there because I want Emmeline to know the people that I was close to that she was close to I want them to be part of her life I don't want it to be just another place that we've moved from and never talk to those people ever again I don't want that I want to try as hard as I can to keep those people in our lives because they are so special. For me, like, I want to make a huge effort to keep those people in my lives and to keep that area part of Emmeline's life. I want her to, to go there to remember, like, I going back and traveling and knowing that, hey, she's English. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, Emily was born in England. And I that culture I adore. And I want her to grow up with that politeness. And I want her to grow up with that friendliness. And even though we live in Norway, that doesn't mean that she can't be polite and friendly and lovely and excellent. That's not to say Norwegian's not lovely and excellent. That's not what I mean. I have a lot of awesome Norwegian friends. It's just, it's hard. Like, we just got here and nothing is the way that we want it to be. We haven't, we haven't decided, like, what kind of routines do we want? How do we want things to go while we're here? Um, we haven't, uh, we haven't made this like a home for us and it's going to be we're going to be here for a while so 
I want to start making it like a home. I feel a bit bad that the cats are going to be stuck in this small space. But I'm going to try and take them for walks on leashes. But we live in the woods here. And Chelsea hates going outside anyway. But she'll go on the leash. And Hemingway has no claws. So there's no way they can be outside. So that'll be interesting. I'll, I'm, you guys are going to be seeing what's going on. Obviously we vlog every day. So maybe it'll be exciting for you guys to see like what, what, what we do here. And what things are like. <laughs> oh god. I'm going to miss it. I think this is probably. I'll probably talk about it for the rest of the week. But I am, there's a big hole in my heart right now for, in terms of like living and where we were. It feels, I feel very lonely right now and empty because it's no one, no one's here but me. <laughs> and Leaf's over there sleeping on the other side of that wall. Okay, I've been talking for six and a half minutes, so I'm going to go because this vlog is just going to be me talking. I'm going to go. Have a good night. Thanks so much for today, guys. Um, we'll get back to vlogging. And once I get my camera again, which I'm going to have to buy in Norway. <laughs> oh my god, it's going to be so expensive. Once I get that camera back, vlogging will be like a complete new and wonderful thing for you guys to watch. It'll be all exciting. I got to go. All right, bye.